A lot has already been said on this important topic. As the Scrum Guide points out, the purpose of the daily Scrum is to inspect the progress towards the sprint goal or goals and to adapt the sprint backlog as necessary. As we all know, daily Scrum or daily stand-up is very important ceremony in the Scrum framework. As part of the daily Scrum, the team meets on a regular basis for a quick sync up. Again, to quote Scrum Guide, daily Scrums improve communications, identify impediments, promote quick decision making, and consequently eliminate the need for other meetings. Remember, you only have 15 minutes to finish the daily scrum. We want to use every minute optimally during this ceremony, don't we? So what are the different ways we can optimize this ceremony? Today, I want to share some of those tricks and tips that can help you improve your daily scrum. These tips have the team gel together quickly as well as eliminate unnecessary churn that often happens during the daily scrum as well as the sprint itself. Again, the goal here is to maximize every minute of this daily scrum and make it a high performing ceremony for your team. With that said, let's dive in. Ask your team members to use this tool before they come to the daily scrum. Make it a practice. Have your team members think about their updates before they come to the daily scrum. They can use this simple tool, what we call post-it notes. Have them write three things on these post-it notes. Again, focus on what they did, what they plan to do, and impediments. So just focus on those three things, write them down, and come to the daily scrum prepared. This will help the updates go quicker during the daily scrum. It also helps in keeping the momentum going. It keeps the energy up and the momentum going. This definitely will help you get your daily scrum completed within those 15 minutes. Announce the start and end of your daily scrum. Make it explicit. For example, one of the team that I coached used Star Wars theme music to announce the beginning and end of their daily scrum. Now it doesn't have to be fancy. You can use some specific music or it could be as simple as someone announcing that hey it's the start of the daily scrum, it's the end of the daily scrum. Right? So it could be as simple as the scrum master saying let's go or right, that's the end of the daily scrum. This will eliminate the confusion that often surrounds the team. Everybody comes to the team area for the daily scrum and then they are wondering whether we are starting or are we waiting or you know somebody starts talking and and uh, you know there's there's a lot of that delay and confusion uh, so this uh, explicit announcement of the start and end of the daily scrum will eliminate all that confusion again it also instills that discipline we are starting we are ending at a specific time introduce the concept of parking lot and use it extensively to defer the discussions normally as soon as some team member provides update and mentions an impediment tendency is to get into the discussion other team members will jump in to provide suggestions and solutions. Now remember, daily scrum is for quick sync up. It is not a forum where we go into solutionizing all these problems. So all we want to do is know the impediment, capture it on the impediment list and move on. The solution will come later on. The solutioning 
we want to defer it after the daily scrum. Otherwise, your daily scrum can easily become half an hour, one hour meeting. So use the parking lot extensively and have them defer all those discussions. Capture them as parking lots that can be taken care of later on after the daily scrum is done. This will help you keep the momentum going during the daily scrum and also enable you to quickly go through the sync up that is more important. Introduce fourth question. Now we know in daily scrum, the team members are supposed to answer the three questions. Number one, what I did. Number two, what I plan to do. Number three, any impediments. Now we are introducing fourth question and that being, is there anything that I want to discuss with my team members? And if yes, I want to mention that quickly during the daily scrum and capture that into the parking lot. The team can review and discuss these items on the parking lot after the daily scrum is completed. So again, this fourth question will help curtail all those discussions that tend to happen during the daily scrum. And those discussions tend to stretch your daily scrum beyond that 15 minute. So we are trying to curtail that discussion during the daily scrum and we are trying to defer them after the daily scrum. We are not saying that those discussions are not important. We are not saying that you shouldn't be doing the discussion. All we are saying is you shouldn't be doing the discussion while we are in the daily scrum. So this fourth question, the parking lot that we talked about earlier, those are designed to curtail the discussions during the daily scrum. All we are asking is defer those discussions for later. And this fourth question, the parking lot are just the tools we are using to defer those discussions for later. So this is the time set aside allocated for the discussion that we defer during our daily scrum. So remember, daily scrum is for 15 minutes. So after everybody has provided their updates and the sync up is completed, the 15 minute time box is over, your daily stand up or daily scrum is over. As we discussed earlier, we will make the end of the scrum explicit by using some audio cue. Right? But the point is we finished our daily scrum within that 15 minute time box. Now, during that daily scrum, you may have put a couple of items on the parking lot, as we said earlier, to defer the detailed discussion. Now, after the daily scrum is done, some of the team members could stay back for their respective discussions. In fact, one of the team that I coached earlier called this an after party. After party meaning the daily scrum is done, the 15 minute time box is done, the daily scrum is done. We announce the end of the daily scrum. Everybody goes back to their desk to go back and work on the stories and tasks that they may be working on. Only those people who are required for the discussion for the items that we have on the parking lot stays there. So that is that is the after party. This is an optional time that has been pre-allocated for, for covering the discussion for the parking lot items. So again, remember all the team members do not need to stay back. Only the ones who are required for the discussion for the items that have been put on the parking lot, only those people should stay. Otherwise, everybody else should go back and start working on the stories and tasks that they have been working on. So this will ensure that we are not wasting unnecessary time. All right, let's take a pause here. I introduce you to some simple techniques that are easy to implement in your team. They will help you streamline as well as improve your daily scrum. Let's review what we have discussed so far. 
one the first step was come prepared this is where we are requesting our team members to come prepared the second tip was making it explicit this is where we are going to announce the start and end of our daily scrum making it explicit three parking lot we will use the parking lot to defer those detailed discussions for later the fourth question was essentially to highlight those requirements where we need to do some detailed discussions and capture them into the parking lot and the fifth tip was the after party so this is where the team not the entire team but some of the team members will stay back to discuss the items on parking lot only those people who are required for those discussion this ensures that we don't waste everybody's time so these are the five tips i have introduced you to now go back to your team, discuss these techniques and implement some, if not all of these techniques. I guarantee you they will streamline your daily scrum. I guarantee you that will optimize the daily scrum for your team. Now, this is not the end of it. I have several more techniques that I want to discuss and bring to you for your benefit. So, do join me in the next video and oh by the way if you feel that these videos are bringing value to you make sure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel